What's going on everybody? Welcome to Narwhal Labs. Today we have a very special guest with us taking on a brand new build challenge, the Scrap Boat Challenge, where we'll be challenging our ambassador's skill, creativity, and knowledge to build a boat in just 12 hours out of a pile of junk. Oh, we need the pump. A broken pump? Skip broke this. <laughs> she might need this for her paddle. Or this for her navigation system. Yeah. Cheating. All right. Sit for now. So to start the build, our maker will spin for the first item off the first pallet to use as the base of their build. They have free reign to anything off the second pallet and access to all tools around the lab. Just to make things interesting, our maker will have a second chance to spin for something off of the first pallet halfway through the build. If this challenge wasn't hard enough, we're gonna spice things up a little bit with our Pocky Chip Challenge. So if they decline the challenge, they'll lose an hour off of their build time. Once their time is up, it's time to hit the water for a timed 200 foot race around a buoy and back to shore. And their goal is for the shortest time. Will they float, sink, finish the boat on time? Let's meet our first ambassador, Xyla Foxland, and find out. With us today, we have none other than the one and only Xyla Foxland! Hey guys. <laughs> Ungraceful. Yeah, it's all good. So we did not tell you what you were doing here, why you're here, what the week has in store for you. What's the anticipation been like? Well, last week I was on vacation, and tomorrow I'm apparently going swimming. Yeah. So it was great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fun fact, um, did you know that flotation foam doesn't have an A in float? We, we learned that this morning when we had to peel all the stickers off and try again. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the pile of garbage that Total Boat came up with. This appears to be a, a doggy life jacket. This looks like it's gonna be one of the more useful things. We got duct tape, we got a bilge pump, vacuum pump. Does this work? No. Good, good, okay, cool. A box of assorted carbon fiber and fiberglass scraps. Some cardboard. Oh, this is like cardboard, cardboard. This is three ply. Sparing no expense, I see. And we got a uh, bouncy off the docky thing. We got some paint sticks. Four minute. And some bunny suits, large inflatable duck. Can I just blow this up? And that's, and the palette. Do I get to take apart the palette and use the palette? Everything there we can use. Everything there we can use. And this coat rack, which I don't even know. All right, let's do this. Let's think, what are we gonna do? So step one is definitely I need to find a way to make a form for this flotation foam. So I want, a, I can basically just hang this and I'll get like a pretty loose hole shape. So um, maybe just to practice, I'll fill the duck head and then I'll have an inflated duck head and everyone wants that, right? So come here, quackers. I just, uh, this is actually has nothing to do with the boat. I just really want to fill the duck head and I'm like, I have 12 hours, why not? It really, um, I almost never like just like cut into an irreplaceable material without thinking about it first, but didn't think about this. I'm just, just doing it. All right. Got a decapitated duck. Oh my God. Who stabbed its eyeball? You know, I used to volunteer for the SPCA. This, uh, this is a reportable offense. I'm gonna call Jimmy. I'm gonna call Jimmy and be like, your ice pick was used to harm a duck. And he's gonna be sad. And remember to get yourself a Duresta yeah. ice pick. I'm just trying to cover these holes to prevent. I don't think the foam will leak out, but I've never used it before and I don't. I need to find a way to suspend it.
If this like wrecks my whole outfit, I'm gonna be sad. I know, I was like, this shirt is so special. Cool. Yeah, I now have things on my hands. <laughs> I'm really a uh, peak Total Boat fashion model today. And here on runway number three, we have... I'm scared for it to start expanding because it's gonna spill. I did not think this thrift. I should use the bigger bucket. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh shoot, can someone help me? So help me hold the back. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you know. Um... Dude, I can feel like the heat on my legs. Right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like a warm pillow. It's just flat, or I just make a raft. This duck head is now too cool to not use. What if I make this thing look like a like a, a submerged duck, like a drowning duck? Ooh, this is not the answer. The duck head is, um, it's heavy. And so like, the rest of the boat needs to be heavier. I'm just gonna have it connect. I'm gonna turn this into the sitting part of the boat and then just flotation foam some contraption to make the duck head sit on the front. So, back to winging it. That did not rank highly in the intelligent things I've done category. I really wanted to pour a big pull, so. You know, that would be like the fun thing to do. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna get like a parabolic hull if it's all weight, which is not the best thing ever. That is tippy. Maybe I want to actually tape the plastic like and have it sit on the ground and only have it pull up like from here out. I think I think that's what I I want to do. Thank you. If I pour it down the sides, yeah. it'll like, I could, I could make the foam go further. I mean, this is like six feet. I consider myself six feet tall, you know. I think it's, it's an attitude, not a, not a measurement. <laughs> okay, my likelihood of going swimming will be decreased dramatically the flatter the bottom is. Heavier. I can just rip all the slats off this pallet. Yeah, good. I have no clue what I'm doing right now. Just in case that wasn't abundantly clear. One pallet slat. So like I always thought that Paul Jackman was crazy. Now I really think Paul Jackman is absolutely insane. That's pretty fun. Paul Jackman, I have become you. There's three wide ones. Man, if this doesn't work, I'm like really screwed. Cause I've pretty much put all the materials into this. 
Yeah, this boat is going to have a right turning tendency. How much more of this duck can I use? Does it have a butt? I think the butt has been spared. You stabbed its eye and you spared the butt? How critical is a little? I love that. I think it'd be cute. Oh, be That's worth it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna overflow. Yeah. Stop. At least I know my duck butt is fully inflated. No. Ah! Ooh, 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 is she toasty? <laughs> what does my life become? A duck butt complete. All right, now we got a duck butt. This is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. I hope you'll realize how stupid this is gonna be. Duck, boat. duct tape on the duck boat. My logic is that if it's really cute, then at least it's cute. But if it's really ugly and it doesn't work, that's just embarrassing. Or like if someone beats my speed record next time, I can be like, well, yours wasn't a duck. <laughs> Ooh, there's like an air bubble right there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this should sit on sort of a similar stick. So, I have no reason not to start pouring foam. Exciting. Hmm. How are we feeling? Weirdly sticks and not, not sticks. But all of that now will be a good surface for foam to stick to. Right. This side is actually... You, you've got a boat coming along. Yeah. I'm gonna try the cardboard thing on the other side. So can you guys like hold that? Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. Wee, gross. Ooh. Oh, this is... Also, I don't want this in here, I want that there. I mean, I think if we put it in the water right now, it would float. I kind of want to get in it. Totally boat-like? To totally boat. Totally a boat. Totally tote. Totally boat. It's like way higher on this side now. Six hours in? We're six hours in. We're six hours in. I have a boat and uh, How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. I'm like fairly confident that this will float. I just hope that the head and the butt go on easily. Worried about moving forward. Do you think you need a second spin to, to get a boat that's gonna work or? The only thing I'm worried about is that I have no propulsion ideas thus far. Mm. And so uh, 
I think I could come up with a paddle with just the materials here, but it would be nice if I got like plywood yeah. or something where cool. I could just cut out a paddle. This one is rude. <laughs> and I think that Total Boat hates me and is sabotaging me. And they want to see me suffer. So the spicy chip isn't just an ordinary spicy chip. It's something crazy. It's like a death chip. Uh, so if you I, don't want to go there. Skip is holding it up behind. <laughs> yeah, and I don't. It's got a skull on the box. Uh, horrifying. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to look. Oh, my God. <laughs> so lucky. Well. <laughs> Suckers. So you landed on buckets. I don't know if I'm even going to use them, but I'm, I'm honestly just glad that I didn't. Yeah. I don't have to eat a spicy. Yeah. I'm not good at spicy. All right. Those are your buckets. All right. Didn't Delicious. I say I really wish I had a bucket like two hours ago, three hours ago? Yeah. Now you've got eight. Attempt the... Bow and masthead, which will be nice because then we'll be done with like the foam. I'm gonna do the butt first. It seems a little easier. It still needs to be cut down. Cool noise though. Front row, you better stop soon, Fran. That was six ounces? Twelve ounces total? Twelve ounces total. <laughs> that was like one second too late. That worked out super well. What? All right, Marie, come here. <laughs> good. Okay, good. It's going. It's going. This is the first I've seen like from it back. Yeah, it's the pretty whole vision come together. Yeah. It's so long. Yeah. Like I can't remember why I decided to make it so big. It's an attitude, not a not a measurement. <laughs> I'm gonna tuck everything in and I wanna see how far I can get with skinning it. It's heavy for a paddle shaft, but I suppose beggars can't be choosers. I'm a little bit thinking about actually carving it out of pink foam and fiberglassing it. That's where my brain is at, but I haven't decided if my brain is in a bad spot. I really feel bad cannibalizing like a perfectly good piece of furniture. The shaft is, she chonky. This is not kayak paddle length. No. This is gonna be hard. This is a lot of, this is a lot of drag. So I've drawn half of a paddle blade and I'm gonna cut it out and then trace it onto the pink. And that will make sure that my blade is symmetrical. I think it'll be easier to handle, but it will still give me a ton of blade area if I need to like, like on the straightaways I can race, but when I'm turning a bend, I can steer in theory. We'll see.
is like definitely the worst layup I've ever done in my entire life. I'm not proud of it, but I think I can paddle with it. Done! Stop the timer. Stop the timer. Stop the timer. How'd we do? 11 hours, 31 minutes, 11 seconds, and 12 milliseconds. Wow. Shall I sit in my very uncomfortable boat. Yeah. Boat. I'm on a boat and it's going fast. And, well, it probably won't go that fast. <laughs> I'm like pretty confident that this boat will at least float. It's the paddle I'm really worried about. I did not realize that uh, the duck would become such a prominent part of this design. I can't say I'm all that upset about it. I, I wasn't expecting it. And I've, I have been meaning to try flotation foam for a while. I don't know if most people pour six gallons of flotation foam their first time using it, but. Cut day one. Woo. We've been here for a long time. It is now the next morning and we are here at the water. There is a buoy about 100 feet offshore. Actually, it is exactly 100 feet offshore. We've measured it. I'm feeling, a, I, okay, I really, I don't think I'm gonna get swept out of the ocean because it's really calm out. Or the thing I'm the most worried about is that the skin will just like float off uh, and it'll look kind of dumb, but that's where my brain is at. But that being said, my brain's not fully caffeinated yet, so. Tyler just finished the race. It was amazing. A minute 36 and a half. She's right here. <laughs> well, I heard that I set the total boat scrap boat challenge record today. Yep, Tyler got a one minute, you see that? One minute, 36 and a half second lap around the buoy. It's pretty good, it's the benchmark. I also had the worst time in history, but I also had the best time in history. No, so. that was really impressive. I'm take it. I think I would start the paddle earlier. The paddle was like the weakest link of this, and it's because I didn't start it until nine, nine hours into the challenge. Uh, and then I ate dinner, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should start a paddle. I see a thing of beauty. <laughs> That's all I see. I think it was a major success, and you absolutely crushed it. We're so happy to have you here. Thank yeah. you. No, this was an absolute blast, and today was definitely one to remember, so. <laughs> It'll go down in history. Yeah. Well, I am so excited to be the gold medalist, the world record holder for the Scrap Boat Challenge. As you can see, I have the top time ever with one minute and 36 seconds. I am the record holder. I am the best. Also the worst, but we're just not going to talk about that. I'm just going to 
Can I take this home with me? Is that cool? Yeah. Okay.